Hi, my name is Ariana, and for today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Sneaking Into the Theaters and Regretting It by Tabs. Let's get into the video. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Tabs, or Tabitha, is a storyteller, and her stories be getting me. Like, they really be making me laugh. This is so white, I should probably turn my screen down, but like... That won't help anything. I was never really fond of movie theaters just because of the many lovely experiences Me. I've had with them. Like just this month alone when I went to watch Joker, they doubled down on security checking people's belongings, scanning them and everything just because some edgelords at the screening were laughing and cheering during the murder scenes. The FBI naturally assumed those type of guys would end up shooting the place while yelling, Hell Joker! And some paranoid people ended up leaving the theater early because of it. Solid waste of 15 <sighs> bucks right there. Well, I got plenty more got stories, it. but I'm gonna talk about this one from way back. So before I start, let's get on to today's sponsor. Do you like butterflies and swirly rainbow lollipops? No? Great! Get out of here! And today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, is a free game you can download on your phone. Holy balls! 10 million people already downloaded the game? It's only been 6 months! That's what's up! Oh, wait, I can already see why. Mm. Just look at the crazy details and graphics on this game. You're able to customize these characters and build them however you like. Along with PvP and Story Mode, there's also a new Faction Wars feature and a reward program for new players. You get a daily login reward for the first 90 days of the game. Pretty good deal, huh? But wait! Really Go to the video really. description, click on that special links. And if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, plus two clan boss keys, plus 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, Executioner. All this good stuff will be waiting for you here. If you want to join in, my username is Tabs. I'll see you there. Alright, so boom. When I was like 13, a group of older teens from my church invited me and my friend Afro to go to the movie theaters with them. And yeah, this that same Afro from this video, except this time around he had a buzz cut. So shouldn't his name be buzz cut now? We not out here changing this guy's name every time he gets a new hairdo. Plus, come on, his Afro was pretty iconic. Anyways, one of the older girls went all up in our faces like, What up, losers? Let's go watch that dope. Dope, sick, sick, fly movie, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> okay, sure, I'm down. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, we don't know why we were invited. All we knew was they were hooking us up with free food afterwards. And next thing you know, oh, we're, we're there. Food. People nowadays have this weird fetish with apocalyptic themes and daydreaming about what the end of the world is going to be like. Man, what True. a bunch of sadistic crackheads. Can you believe the That's sick true. bastards actually fantasizing about this stuff? Well, I guess I'm also yeah. one of them for tagging along. Afro and I wanted to sneak food in, so we we came up with a genius plan we thought was surefire to work back then. We both agreed to bring oversized zip-up hoodies so that we could stuff more snacks in them and pretend we were some chunky-ass kids. Cliché, but way less obvious than a backpack. We walked in like some goofy-ass club penguin birds. Uh-uh-uh, wait. Let me check your hoodies. Aw, oh, come on, why? Well, you know how people just tend to sneak things in creatively around here. And you guys look pretty loaded. So what, you're calling us fat? That's messed up. Yo, what's up with that? Mind your own business. Doing wonders for our self-esteem. Yeah, F your self-esteem. Nobody wears thick, bulky hoodies in 92 degree weather. Reason with me here and tell me that's not suspicious at all. Come on, everybody knows the movie theater gets mad brick after staying for like 30 minutes. That's why we came prepared with this fit, because we don't want to <laughs> catch colds. Yeah? All right then, since you both want to be stubborn, I'm just going to call you out with the obvious bag of Cheetos sticking out your hoodie. Bruh. How do... Um... I don't ruin it like this. Okay, bro, bro, listen, tell you what, I got Skittles, Kit Kats, Cheetos, Oreos, Snyders, and a slice of pizza. Which one you want? What the f- None! Throw them all out! Now! Okay, jeez, John. Did he just say he has sliders? Yo, hurry up! Let's oh, bounce! No, you don't. Bruh. <laughs> We really like, tried wait, that. You so we were forced to throw like away me. all our food in the nearest trash can. And yes, no doubt about it. We were some dumbass kids back then. But you know, maybe he might have let us slide if we went through with this plan during any other season. We met up with the rest of them in the auditorium. And the movie started. Halfway through, there were monkeys built like Arnold Schwarzenegger, shooting AK-47s, trying to bite people's heads off. Good looks, good looks. This is good. But then they started talking about peace treaties. <laughs> and that's when you know it's time to go. Everybody and their moms came here to watch Curious George take over the world. Not kumbaya shit. I was ready to leave. But then one of the girls named Janie went all sneak face and said, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> like, wait, hold up. You guys want a movie hop? Ooh, scandalous. scandalous. Back then, I had no idea what movie hopping was, but I you found out real quick. Movie. movie hopping is basically you paying just to watch one movie, but then sneaking into yeah, other rooms after that movie. movie is over to watch multiple movies in one day. Because you're either selfish or broke as fuck. 
We did some Naruto shit where we had to hide in the shadows. This whole scene the, played out perfectly. One by one, we snuck in while the, the scouts weren't looking. And Janie was sending us out like, Go! 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 Get your ass moving! All we needed was some crisis music in the background. <laughs> strut! 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 Pose! Strut! 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 That literally sounds like something that we used to do. <laughs> you know? Isn't this illegal? Less questions, more ass hauling. But get in there! Run, girl, run! <laughs> that was the most extra thing ever. Yeah, we really didn't need to do all that. The movie we snuck into was called The Change Up. And for the love of God, if there's a movie that's not rated yet, do yourselves a favor, don't watch it. I honestly didn't know what to expect. It seemed like an innocent film at first, you know? Two guys who are like homies, <laughs> Until you want to live each out. other's lives. So one night they get drunk, pass out. The next day they wake up and boom, the bodies are switched. Like some freaky um, Friday I jazz. Was about to say they end up doing body. all this wild stuff. You know, I thought it was pretty funny at first. But then came the dreaded scene. The scene that ruins all family nights. The one scene that was 0% <laughs> necessary for eyes. the storyline. But you can still hear anyways to make it clear that the film was for an adult audience. The scene where they went home running and it showed everything. All the hot dogs and tatas in all its glory. 13 year old me had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I had a slow ass reaction. But when it hit me, it hit me like a truck. No, no, no. More like a yacht. Please, no more. Oh my god, what is that? Ugh, why is it so wrinkly? You ever heard a silent scream? It goes something like, I didn't ask to be here. Why am I here? Get me, me out. Cool. Dag, yo. Talk about an overreaction. Ah, man, I remember puberty being that wild. Psst. You know they're still here, right? <gasps> oh, shit. Cover your eyes. But it was 15 seconds too late. We had already seen everything. The deed was done. You should have seen our faces the whole time looking like prunes. The other people in the <laughs> auditorium were probably losing their shit and looking at us like, <laughs> let these kids in here it's a shame they did everything in their power to keep us two from watching that scene but those noises can never be unheard our minds have been tainted and i call it karma for trying to sneak in in the first place lesson learned church people teach you valuable life lessons and are good role <laughs> hey. models to look up to i'm screwing around they're actually good people and i believe them when they say they didn't really expect that either innocent mistake after the movies, they apologized and asked us not to snitch on them. But yeah, we were some babies back then making an outburst over some boobies. But if we dealt with the same scenario now, we just might have dozed off. <laughs> so funny. That was hilarious. Like, <laughs> why would you sneak into a movie? just to get caught i mean it's not even that they got caught it's just the sneaking in the snacks part they got caught because somebody messed up but they wasn't even in the right season to be doing that anyway so like they were bound to get caught <laughs> but anyways um, you shouldn't sneak in um different movies, movie hop. You shouldn't sneak stuff into the movies. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. <coughs> my socials will be in the description box down below. If you cannot comment what you would like me to react to my next video, because YouTube probably turned off the comments, you can DM me. On my Instagram, but you would like me to react to Vix. And that's it for today's video. Don't forget to love yourself. <laughs> love yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> um, deuces.